course I'm done What is up guys, Insta After Effects here, and today we are going to learn how to make a shower in Minecraft. Now, from that little video you kind of just saw, I mean, I wouldn't call it a skit or anything, but from what you just saw, we are going to be making... Oh my god, can I get in that door? Okay, so this is what we're going to be making. It, um, actually, we're going to be making something like this. It's going to be a little bit shorter. Maybe look, it's probably going to look more like this. Like, uh, kind of like this. But yeah, so without further ado, let's jump right into this. And But if you want to download this map, the link is in the description, and I encourage you to follow along. Um, you don't have to, but I mean, it's up to you. Okay, uh, let's get right into the video. Uh, yeah. So guys, now that we're up here, um, I'm going to show you how to make this shower. So you probably already have the base done, like how the shower is going to look, like the design of the shower, not the particles. It's really easy, and it only needs one command block. And it's a very short command, actually. This tutorial shouldn't be more than five minutes. Um, I really doubt it's even going to be near four minutes, but yeah. So, really quickly, I'm just going to build the base, and then we're going to get into the particles. Okay, I've built the base uh, for the shower. Now, let's get into the really easy command. Now, basically what I did is I just... Put a lever inside, and then on the end, where the lever is, I mean, the end of the lever, the, black, the back of the block, I put a redstone current to a little repeater, and I ticked that to loop. So that will loop, and while that's looping, if you do it, like, if you put the command block like this, for some reason it doesn't work, I'm not sure why, like, it will just do the command once. Um, but yeah, so, now to type the command. So basically, here's how we make the particles work. We go and we place the block wherever you want the particles to spawn, and we're going to type slash particle, and then if I click tab, the tab button, uh, under the escape button, you'll see splash. It'll show all these. So, splash, particle splash. And then if you click tab, then space, then tab, then space, then tab, it'll print out the coordinates to that block that you were facing or looking at. Now, I usually just do zero, 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 but for the one back there, the one in the cave, um, that one I did a different like code so it would stretch the particles out so I didn't have to do more than one command. But this is just going to be zero, zero, zero because it's only in one block. Anyway, so the speed of the particles we're going to set to zero, so basically you should have your cords then four different zeros. We look where we want the particles to come from, and then we should have four zeros, so that, 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 and that would be zero. Now the count. That depends on how many splash particles you want, so ten is kind of weird, like that, it's not a lot at all. I would do something like a hundred, maybe five hundred. Um, okay, so I think I have my command set up. Now, I'm just going to go over to the command block and copy my command. Control C. Control C. There we go. Now, in here, I'm going to type Control V. Or I can just retype my command. I can go into chat and then just, if you don't know how to copy and paste, just do that. And then particle splash. Yeah, 491 to. 35, 24, 0, 0, 0, 0, 100. Yeah, just look in the chat and yeah. So, for the moment of truth, all we have to do is if you want to cover that up, you can. Uh, and once you cover that up, like, I mean, I'm not doing a really good job of covering it up. I'm just doing this because it's a tutorial. But, there you go. So lonely.